it is time to head to MCO and then my dad's gonna drive us there so thank you to him. We're going to LAX and then we're gonna stay there at, at the Hyatt and then we are off to Tokyo. Come along. <laughs> boards at 3.50, it's 2.30, we board in about an hour and 20 minutes. We have pre checks so it should be pretty quick with security. No problems this time. No problems. Only solution. So far so good. Flying the right airline today, so that's good. Are you excited, Kaylee? I'm thrilled. Yeah. are at the Hyatt Regency in Los Angeles, California. We're gonna get some sleep, and then we are going to get up and go back to LAX. Well, we're gonna actually, we're gonna get dinner. Then we're gonna sleep. Then we're gonna get up, go to LAX, and we have a non-stop flight to Japan. Hello, Canada. Good morning, and I both had experiences this morning of inconvenience. They, they knew me. We got past it. It's fine. Hard part's over. I think you got past it quicker than my engine. We boarded. Another 20 minutes till takeoff. Lots of people going to Japan. People love Japan. It's a great place. Kaylee's first time in Japan. <laughs> We made it. We're here. We made it to the hotel. A few minor stresses along the way. Nothing too crazy. The plane landed less than three hours ago, I guess. And we're already. I guess technically we landed like 2.40, but like we weren't off the plane until 3. And it's not even 6 o'clock yet. Out of your element. A little bit, but it's mostly exciting. Happy to be here. Beer. I'm stoked to be back. I feel right at home. <laughs> feel right at home. <laughs> that was a language yeah, like a pro. Yeah, you passively are a native speaker. Right. Oh, if we turn off the lights in here, we get a good shot. I think I, I could look at most people. Tomorrow, we are going to start the search for guitars. Meeting up with a friend of ours who has some stuff that I'm really excited to check out. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to film it yet. We will see, um, but it should be a good start to this trip. Today is our first proper day in Japan. I'm very, very excited to be here. And I'm excited that we're just getting right into it because sometimes you'll have you know, a day with nothing planned, but today is going to be pretty packed. So we're going to go grab some coffee and then we are going to start our uh, journey on searching for some guitars out here. Oh, it's disinfected. Please sit with coffee. These are special seats. What a magical moment. Look at this. This is almost completely original, but oh my god. Look at this. Oh. That's that's the finish. I'm <laughs> just coming off on my hands. Oh my goodness. This is uh this is the only time I, I think there's a, a light advantage to poly finish. Nice, is it doesn't do this. A little thin on that. <laughs> we are checking out a bunch of guitars that we are going to send back to the States for the shop. Uh, stuff you can't really find in the States, and uh, yeah, 
We're gonna get some pallets put together and we're gonna ship them on back. This was our first fresh finds, if you will, literally just probably just the room there. Two really nice Japanese made uh, Fender Mustangs. This finish obviously looks awesome, so we love that. And then just your straight up all black, which is cool. Yeah, this is a really cool one. This is like a Seymour Duncan uh, precision bank. Very cool. This will be the first one we've ever had, so. Yeah, this is all stuff that was kind of uh, picked out for us to look at, so this is where we're starting, and then we'll, we'll do some digging and see what else we find. This needs some love, the old Yamaha neck through. CV3000. I would say this is the least up our alley of everything, but I'm gonna look it up and it's probably still worth taking on. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. oh. Unfortunate. That is the heaviest tally I've ever. That's surprising. I think this is something a little newer, or it's just a really nice shape, but uh, 75 reissue jazz bass. We actually have one of these back at the shop already, uh, but ours is a Rosewood, so this is a maple equivalent. Uh, this one's crafted in Japan, so probably late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, dude. Yes. This is, this is me. Look at that. We've done so few Les Paul Customs and I love them, so. 1995 Les Paul Custom, all black, ebony board. The player, got a repair there. Les Paul Standard. Needs some work, again, another player, but we will get it in, uh, get it in nice shape. Oh, dude. Did I send you this one? No, I don't think so. Right, this looks like something would have sent you, so I want it. <laughs> yeah, this is a vintage Boss CE1. This is the one, this is where they originally started doing their course and vibrato pedals, so. This is right up my alley. Almost I like this. It was a uh, Ford 8000 or something like that that just a got series smashed with pieces. I love the body, real. it's like super yeah. slim. Look how slim that body is. It was a one. Freaking active pickup in it. Yeah. Gonna take it? <laughs> yes. Oh what? shit, yeah. Wait, oh dude, no way. Oh it's just grind. Oh, is this no, dirt? That's great. Oh Kayla, yeah, give Kayla two hours, this thing is gonna be uh, good to go. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, Chef. Yeah, that's incredible. Looks like you. Oh. <laughs> Show this real quick so you guys know. We are hand picking you the finest guitars we can find. Not like we find one of something we grab it. We have three of the same one and we're meticulously comparing them. So we actually found a fourth one that we're gonna take a look at. And then whichever one, you know, has the most uh, vibe to it is the one we're gonna grab. Maybe if there's two that vibe a lot, maybe we're we'll grab two. We're only basing decision off of vibes. We are acquiring a lot of really cool guitars today, which you'll see in a few months. I'm very excited. Some great Gibsons, some great Fenders, some great more obscure stuff, but all really, really cool pieces. I'm excited, you know, when the pallets are almost as tall as I am. <laughs> We're gonna go, I think, get coffee, and then take a train somewhere, and do stuff. <laughs>
So we went to a bunch of really nice music stores today. And the last stop was a, an Isibashi music location. They had a bunch of really, really good stuff. Lots of cool Fender Japan stuff, especially. And they had a nice display with this one guitar being uh, showcased. And I was quite blown away. And then I said, even though the sign said, don't touch it, I asked the employee and uh, they got it down for me. But this is a Isibashi Music exclusive Fender 60s traditional Telecaster Custom with a walnut top, which is very, very rare. There's only a few of these. And uh, I'm now the proud owner of one of them. So this is what the back looks like. And then obviously walnut top. This fretboard is incredible. This is one of the darkest rosewood fretboards I've seen on one of these ever. So I, have, I had to have it. Top's crazy. and. Uh, it's a brand new guitar, which I usually don't buy new guitars for myself, like, ever. So, this is maybe, this is one of the first few, like, I've ever bought for myself brand new. So, very stoked. And we saw Issei. From Oak Tales. Yes, he cooked us some lovely food. We had some lovely chats. It's great. I had lamb chop. It was, it was a great time. I think we're gonna go to Akihabara and do some perusing. I don't know if we're gonna find any guitars today, but we are definitely gonna find some fun, some food, many uh, vending machines, some that have toys in them, some that have uh, consumable items in them. It'll be a great time. I did find some cool yeah. non-guitar related things for myself. Again, being a bit self-indulgent. All right, so non-guitar related fresh find. I'll do, a, do a quick, quick look. We got a PC Engine Core graphics in the box. These were allegedly originally uh, 24,800 yen. Uh, I paid 19,600 yen, so not too, too bad for one in the original box. I'm excited to see the condition, and I got a few games as well. The reason I got it is because Galgate. This was like the first arcade game I can basically ever remember playing. And I always wanted like a physical copy, but this is the only console it's on, so got it. We also got Formula One Racing, so that'll be fun. Went to another store, and then I found this puzzle game. It should be fun. Very cheap, only uh, 380 yen. And then also, just figured for uh, 980 yen, one had to have. It'll be lightly warmer, but that's we're really just getting picky there, so very grateful. Yeah, this needs to go in there somehow. If this doesn't scream, I went to Japan to find guitars, I don't know what does. Tysco Spectrum 5. In really nice shape too. This is so cool. I've never seen one of these in my life. And uh, I'm very excited to get this one back to the shop.
Probably gonna acquire most or a lot of these. All good stuff that we're looking for right now. So, uh, oh my god! Look at that! Incredible! Beautiful! I do work. Is this part? Oh. Shut, shut up, everybody. I'm the tape man. Lots of room for pedals. Oh, yeah. Quality and quantity. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. We packed another pallet today. We packed more uh, boxes. We have many things coming back to Florida. All kinds of good stuff, but mostly guitars. But there's also a bunch of pedals, so lots of fun. Today was really, really great. We packed so much stuff, a lot of really cool pieces. Uh, top of mind, there was a vintage Gibson Hummingbird in there, which I was really particularly excited about. Um, as well as a few really nice V guitars. Uh, there was an ESP that was phenomenal. There was a Yamaha, which usually those aren't like the first thing I think of for myself, but they all play really good, and I'm uh, very excited to get them back to the shop and then start ripping into those. As well as just getting into like all this stuff. There's just so much quality merch that uh, we're bringing back with them. We'll probably try to squeeze in a little more productivity, but we're definitely uh, some nice dinners are ahead of us and. Uh, Hopefully we're going to go check out art exhibit tomorrow, which I'm excited for. We're going to go check out the American Club. A lot of cool stuff on the horizon. Because how many days are left? Basically two. Two days left. We'll make the most of them. Today is Sunday, February 19th, and today is the day that we fly back to America. 
the last week and a half has been absolutely exceptional. So much good food, and we're also bringing back an insane amount of awesome guitars and other gear, which I'm super excited to show everyone, and I'm super excited just to get it back to the shop and start getting everything set up and uh, bring you guys some cool stuff. So very, very productive trip, very fun trip, and uh, very grateful to get to do stuff like this. We have a really cool wine red Gibson Hummingbird that's coming back. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Gibson Double Cut Junior that's coming back. When you see that listing, just know that it hurt me a little bit to have to list it instead of keep it. A few really cool fenders are coming back. Actually, a lot of really cool fenders are coming back. Got a cool Gibson Firebird, a bunch of cool Strats, some cool Tellies, Japan Jazz Master. We got the Elk Jaguar, the Elk Deluxe. So you're probably thinking, where are all these guitars? Well, we actually packed literally three pallets of inventory to ship back to America, as well as some other smaller boxes. But um, coming up in probably a month or two, we're gonna have those pallets arrive, and we are going to unpack them all for you guys and show you all the fun goodies we got. So be on the lookout for that. I know it might be a minute until that video comes out, because you know, shipping by sea is a bit slow. Thank you guys so much, as always, for taking the time to watch these videos. I'm really, really grateful to get to do stuff like this, and I hope you enjoyed watching this whole experience. We got to see some cool gear, and uh, very excited to see you in the next video on Friday. Cheers.